Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I use a program called Anki to learn how to code. So Anki is a flashcard manager that has an algorithm built in uh, for spaced repetition, which means it shows information in certain intervals as your memory grows, as, as your memory gets stronger. I'll show you in a little bit, but I think spaced repetition is the best strategy to learn anything, uh, whether a coding language or another language that you want to learn. Um, Anki is available on Windows or Mac. It also has an app for Android and iPhones, and you can also use it on the browser. I would recommend you to download the app on your desktop and then sync it to your, your phone, so the app on your phone. A lot of people might ask why to memorize code when you can Google, right? Uh, but it's very useful to memorize at least the basic syntax because then it, 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 you'll be in a flow. You, you don't have to stop every time you're coding to Google something. So it's, it's important to know the basic syntax of, of the languages you're using. Also, it's very useful for interviews because then you're going to show that you know what you're talking about. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to download and how to create the decks and the cards. Okay, so first thing is you want to download the program to your computer. You, I'm going to leave all the links in the description below. You just go here and you click download. You can choose uh, Windows or Mac. I already have the program, so I don't have to download it here. The program is right here, Anki. Uh, but I also recommend you to download a very useful add-on, uh, which I'm also going to leave the, the link in the description, uh, called Image Occlusion Enhanced. So to download the add-on, you need to scroll down and get this number. So let's get this number. I'll show you how to get the add-on. So this is, is the Anki, it, the main page. You go here on Tools, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and then you paste that code. Download completed. Okay, so let's close it. Okay, let's open it again. Good. So I'm going to create a new deck here, Create Deck. And I'm going to name it uh, JS as JavaScript, another uh, deck, <laughs> another JavaScript. I'm going to he come here, add, which is add a flashcard. When you have a lot of decks, you have to choose which deck you want to add the flashcard to. So I'm going to choose my card, JS. And here are the type of cards that you can create. I'm going to show you how to create three different cards. So the basic one, for example, you want to say, what is an API? Oh, I already have this one. Um, so you want to say, what is an API? And then you write the answer under it. API is an me and the typos, application programming interface. Okay, and then you click add. You can also add tags so it get it's easier to filter the, the flashcards, but I don't, I don't use it. Now let's create another card using the close feature. So I'm going to grab here some text. If a promise is fulfilled, it will trigger a then, and if it's rejected, it will trigger a catch. I, wanna, I want to remember the then and the catch. So what you do, you have to choose the close type. What you do is come here, close deletion, and then a catch, another close deletion. If you have number one and number two, it will ask you two different times. 
I want them to be asked at the same time. So I'm going to delete and add and uh, change it to one. So add here. And now I'm going to show you how to use the image occlusion enhanced. I'm going to come here to grab uh, an image from the internet. You can grab when you want to grab an image from the internet or from, um, or from a, a PowerPoint. Uh, and you want to learn the, the terms, you copy the image and you don't even have to paste. When you click on this image, it will, it will paste for you. So what you want to do, I want to hide this. I'll have to guess this. Okay, so you, say you can choose hide all, guess one, or hide one, guess one. I'm going to do hide all, guess one. And they were created, the cards were created. Cool, okay, so, oops. So you just close here. Now, to study the cards, I study them every day. I go through the cards every day. You click on the deck and you do study now. So it's going to ask you, what is an API? You have to remember, uh, try not to click show answer. You have to remember. So it's an application programming interface. You click, good. Was it good? Was it too hard? Was it easy? For me, I would say it was good. Good. If a promise is fulfilled, it will trigger a what? And if it's rejected, it will trigger a what? Uh, do you know that? Yes. So it will trigger a then, and if it's rejected, it will trigger a catch. So let's see the answer. Yes, it's correct. So I'm going to say it was easy. And it, it will ask you, you know, so you can remember. It, it will ask you again. If you put it was hard, it will ask you in 10 minutes. If you put it was good, it will ask you in one day. And here are the, the ones from the image. So we have to guess the one that is in red. What is the HTTP method for the cre to create? So do you know what that is? Post. Yes, you got it. So then you click good or hard and that's how it works. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, Anki is very useful. You should be creating flashcards and practicing every day. You can also learn other languages like Spanish or French. You can practice for interviews by creating flashcards and it's for free. So I recommend you doing that. Uh, let me know if you know any other tricks on Anki and I'll see you next time. Bye.